Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? How the kids? I'm Q the Costa Rican, and today we are back with some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet random Wi-Fi battles. Today we're using a very, very fun team composed out of uh, returning Pokemon. None of the new guys, no Raging Bolt, no Gouging Fire, none of those guys. Uh, I decided, you know, let's step away from that for a little bit, and let's just use some of the Pokemon we haven't been able to use for quite some time now. So, we got Contrary uh, Superior with the Leaf Storm, Terror Blast, and Glare and Substitute. This is the exact same set. Uh, that my opponent from yesterday brought against me and it actually could have fucked around and swept me um, If it started if it started to get going because if you guys don't know how contrary works basically um, If you stat drops it actually raises and if your stats normally raise then it actually drops which is also kind of funny But yeah leaf storm gives you a uh, Two stage spatak drop normally, but if you're contrary superior you do be getting your spatak raised and then if you Terra Stellar and click Terra Blast, normally it would drop your attack and sputtack by one stage. But since we're contrary superior, we do get that stat raise instead. So this mod could easily start steamrolling entire teams. I'm really looking forward to trying it out and seeing uh, if we can make this, the set work. Up next, we have max HP, max speed, rapid spinning, flip turning, knocking off, tentacruel with the liquid ooze just to punish any sort of draining kiss come phase or leech seed spammers. We got the T spikes there as well to make things a little bit easier for uh, our sweeping potential. Up next, we have Dragon Dance, loaded dice Kiram, guys. If a Pokemon gets scale shot, you bet your sweet ass we're using it. Uh, Ice School Spear scale shot, you know, is really nice because it's a uh, basically guaranteed base 100 attack and it's also stab, which is really nice. And then I opted to go. For Terra Steel, Terra, opted to go for Terra Steel to be able to set up in front of opposing dragons as well as opposing fairies and hit them for some pretty, pretty big damage. I'm on like King Gambit, now that I'm thinking about it out loud, does kind of wall this set, but in theory, like people are saving that mod for last anyways, right? So this mod could uh, potentially just dent the entire team. I don't get EQ, the only ground move I get is Earth Power, otherwise I'd have to run like Terra Fighting or Terra Fire or something or Terra Ground, I guess, Terra Blast, and I just felt like... There's more Pokemon. There's de there's definitely like Superior and Comfey are the mods on the team. I want to Terra 100%. Whereas Kiram, I don't necessarily want to Terra it 100%. But if I, you know, if the, if there's no if there's no Steel type that walls us and and we can, then sure we'll go for it. Up next we have Fizdef, uh, Necrozma with the Stealth Rock, Throton Geyser, and Earth Power with the Moonlight, Terra Fairy just to tank some of those uh potentially Dark type hits. But um basically this is just like my this is just my Fizdef like tank. I know, like, there's a lot of Necrozma sets running around with, like, Dragon Dance sweeping potential. I believe there's, like, the Meteor Beam set. I think it lost Autonomize. Don't quote me on that. But um, we'll use that set in the future. Don't you worry. I just wanted a nice little, like, physically defensive glue on the team to be able to try and switch into things, get up rocks, dent things down so that Superior and Comfey or Kiram have an easier chance of sweeping. Speaking of which, we got the homie Calm Mind, 3 attacks, Comfey. This Pokemon is so good right now in the meta because so many people are just using Dragon types. And this Comfey just takes advantage of every single one of them. We can just get the Calm Mind in front of them. We can Terra Steel on a potential like Toxapex, uh, trying to click Toxic on us. Uh, and then we just Drain and Kiss, Giga Drain, Stored Power Sweep. It even has a really good matchup against Stall because even the Unaware Mons don't ignore the Stored Power base damage raise. Yes, they do ignore your like plus six attack but they won't ignore they can't ignore the base power of store power itself which is really really good something against like unaware clefable you probably still lose the exchange but other than that like don dozo you're good against pex obviously you're good against glide score you're good against like a bunch of good things you you are really really good against this comfy is just so good and then big root allows us to like get way more hp back from our draining kiss and giga drain than we normally would which allows us to just like just, it just gives us longevity, allows us to tank so many hits afterwards, and it's just it's just such a good sweeping set, as, especially because the meta right now is just so dragon-centric. Uh, and then last but not least, we have Soul Du Latios as just like a potential breaker of the team. You know, base 110 speed is really good. They buff Luster Purge. I think it used to be inaccurate, or it used to only have a chance to lower Spadef. Regardless, now it's 100% accurate, base 95, guaranteed Spadef lower, which is really, really dope. Uh, we also got Draco Meteor as our dual stab with the Soul Dew. These moves are really fucking strong. And then we have Aura Sphere with the Terra Fighting for something like King Gambit or T-Tar or even Heatran. Uh, and then Ice Beam just as a fourth coverage move. Didn't know what I wanted. Could have used could have used Recover, but I don't really feel like I needed it. So I figured let's just rock out with the Ice Beam. Let's just go with four coverage moves because I kind of want this Pokemon just to be clicking buttons anyways. Regardless, I've been talking about the team long enough. I'm really hyped to try it out. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it as well as... If you ended up using the team for yourself, the team ID is in the right-hand corner, 5MCJ1F. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys wanted me to use any other new Pokemon as well as sets in the future. 
And uh, if you guys are new to the channel, click that subscribe button. We are fast approaching 4,000 subscribers, guys. If we could reach that before the New Year's, I would be so, so happy. If we can reach that before the New Year's, I will stream into the New Year's. We will go live on December 31st and stay live until January 1st and then obviously some hours after that. And we'll just have a good time with the homies hanging out on call. So, yeah, man, with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. If you all like what you saw and you saw what you like, that was the outro. Never mind. I hope you all enjoy the battles. Ooh, all right. This actually looks like a very, very interesting team. I don't know if Superior will be able to do it, but for sure, Comfey could, like, very easily win this game. Um, I could, like, I can literally call mine and Terra Steel in front of the... In front of the Gliscor. There is a Heatran, of course, but after, like, getting up rocks and then potentially weakening it with Superior, because that is, quote-unquote, the switch in, um, could be easy. Uh, also might not need a Terra Steel, uh, if I can call mine in front of Dragapult, because I think I really only need, like, one or two in order to pop off. Anyways, we're leading off with our Fizz Def. Um, Necrozma to get up rocks, because rocks look really good. They don't have hazard control. Uh, a bit of a Gliscor lead would be annoying, but... Uh, I can still get up rocks, which is, like, the main goal. And then I can, like, pivot into Tentacruel, flip turnout. Like, we got, we got options. We got options. So, yeah, man. Let's see how this one goes. They have a Darkrai, which is very unfortunate. I feel like I've been seeing so much Darkrai lately. Um, and it is it is OU legal. So, it's like, I can't even complain anymore that it's an Uber. Because, according to the council, <laughs> it's not as strong as it used to be, apparently. Anyways, it lit off with Rengoku, which is the superior. Oh, my. Not superior. I'm dumb. It is this guy, which literally is the only mod preventing me from comfang. I'm literally clicking Earth Power. Yeah, get up your rocks, bro. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Did you put enough work in? That's what I gotta know. Holy shit. Let's fucking go. I don't think this is gonna kill because we are uninvested. But yeah, it does a fuck ton of damage, and that's all that matters. I'm gonna kick, click rocks now on the potential um, Gliscor switch in, as well as my rocks just look really solid. So I'm just gonna go for rocks. If they stay in, they're fucking crazy. It's so insane that they wasted this mod that early. Like, hold, do they not see the Comfey? Like, I understand they have a uh, King Gambit and everything, but, like, still. Still, bro. Still. They do go out in a bad guy, which I assume is the Gliscor. Yep, who would have thought? It's almost like it was predicated. Uh, we got the rocks up, though. I'm curious to see how much, like, my Photon Geezer... Uh, to max HP, I do about half. I'm gonna go for it. Like... This Mon is just here to tank hits and get damage off. And that's exactly what we're going to do. If they want to Toxic me, if they want to U-turn, this is all irrelevant to me. Like, I'm about to do a, at least half unless they're Super Spadef. So let's find out. It'll be a 3 KO because of the Toxic Orb, like, lefties recovery type shit. But uh, look at that. That's damn near half. Um, I think I'm actually going to pivot into my... Um, into my uh, Tentacruel. Because, I, I mean, I guess they could EQ here, which would kind of suck. But I could, uh, they could also just uh, protect. So I think I'd rather just go into Tentacruel. And potentially get up my T-Spikes. Or I'd probably just flip turn, to be honest. But if the protect fails here, they might want to protect again. You know what I mean? Just to get that HP back. Look at them. They are clicking protect. So here's the... It's like a 50-50, but like not necessarily that big of a 50-50 in my eyes. They could totally protect here again. Which would really be really cool for me to get up T-Spikes. But the upside on... Like, like, the negative part of me clicking T-Spikes on a potential Protect is them clicking EQ. And that's far more, like, hurtful to my team. So, like, even if they do click Protect, it's whatever. And it looks like they're actually going to Terra Water here or something. Which I'm so fine with. Like, I don't think they would Terra and click Protect, right? That's a waste of a turn. I think if you're going to click Protect there, you just click it. The fact that they Terra Watered and then, and you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Anyways, we're going to get Superior in. Uh, Maybe not right now, but we're going to get Superior in later. Like, that's for sure. Anyways, um, yeah, we flipped out. Uh, they could, they're clicking EQ, right? Like, that's what I'm, I'm for certain. I'm going Lottie. Big Latios. Look at my guy. Let's see, did they click EQ? I assume. Yeah, get him out here, coach. Alright, so I think a Draco Meteor just knocks this the fuck out. Yeah, it actually does. Like, holy shit. Luster Purge could be pretty nice, though. Um, and also covers the potential, um... I'm actually gonna Lust the Purge on their Protect. Yeah. And then I'm gonna Draco. And then I'm gonna Draco. Because Draco can, can, can knock them out from this range. It has, it has a decent chance. If it's just max HP. So I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Beautiful. Love you, Lottie. You're such a good Pokemon, Latios. 
Wow. I'm so glad. Wow, Latios. You're so actually, you're so good at the game, Latios. Like, holy shit. Like, holy shit, Lottie. How do you do it? Like, how do you genuinely do it? I should have just clicked Luster Purge, guys. Good thing is, we do Oko it with Leaf Storm on our superior, so we just gotta get it in. Which I kinda wanna do on this turn, but, I mean, I've been showing that I'll, I'm, I'll make the pivoting play, so it's, like, kind of irrelevant. This is literally so fucking annoying, bro. Oh my god. Oh, they stay in. Okay, perfect. Oh, wow. That did... Wow. Wow. Look how much damage that did, guys. As they click Substitute. What a fucking idiot. Huh? Draco would have just O-Code them. Like, what is wrong with these kind of people, bro? Like, what do they think? They think Gliscor is just, like, the end-all, be-all Pokemon. When it's not. It's crazy. Um... I'm actually going to go into Necrozma. I think I'd rather have Lottie be a little healthier. I think I can still... Actually, no, that was pretty bad. It's slower than everything. And Necrozma actually tanks a hit from something. Whereas the other guy doesn't. Whatever. We just spend Photon Geyser. It is what it is. This is so annoying. But, you know, we're dealing with it in stride. We're dealing with it in stride. I guess I can just go hard Lottie on the Heatran. Like, whenever it comes back in. Like, that's my goal. That's my... That's my... That's... That's the only thing I'm bringing it on and anymore. It was either that or this. I could also Terra Fighting like in front of the King Gambit, but I've already decided I kind of want to Terra Steel with Comfey. So, yep, click Protect, no big deal. We're just gonna spam Photon Geyser. Thank you for making this battle twice as long as it needed to be, bro. Because you're so silly, man. This fucking guy, I swear. Click Substitute on a. <sighs> oh, all he had to do was fucking land, man. Could have avoided the toxic. Could have avoided everything. Ah, oh, damn, Latios, bro. I, I swear I haven't missed Draco Meteor on Pokemon until this DLC came out. I missed two of them with Raging Bolt in the video, and now I miss one with Latios. Like it's actually so weird. But hey, you know it's Pokemon, right? Anyways, they're gonna EQ. Not gonna do that much damage to us. Shouldn't do anyways, because I think they're not offensive. Yeah. So yeah, we don't get like three KO'd by that. And they're going to have to give us something. They're going to have to give us this or something, you know? They could pivot into King Gambit, I guess. Like, it's whatever. Like, I don't care. I'm just going to click Photon Geyser again. They definitely click Protect here. But it's irrelevant for me to, like, switch out and try to predict that. Because now they revealed the Substitute. Oh, man. So annoying. So annoying, bro. It's crazy. Crazy how annoying this shit was when it didn't need to be. Literally, like, the dumbest, like... One of the most annoying Pokemon in the game, but only because I missed the Draco. Oh, they withdraw. Look at that. They're going into one of their Dark types. Who would have thought? Darkrai. Oh, wow. What a switch. I mean, this will give us uh, intel, right? We'll know if they're Life Orb. We'll know if they uh, are lefties. This is, like, perfectly fine. I'm not switching out. Like, my mom's in. My mom is in. I'm just going to stay in and do what I got to do. I think I might actually get up a T-Spike in front of this. I think that could be pretty good. I don't know. The good news is, I think Superior might win. Which is, like, what we were going for anyway, so. Definitely can't set up in front of this Mon. They're gonna Nasty Plot. Okay, thank God I have Comfey as a Revenger. If we can get a Spadef drop, that'd be beautiful. Just to make Comfey's job easier. I think it kills from that range. No Spadef drop. Okay, I got a Calc now, because I don't know if it kills from that range. Dark Re. But I guess they would be packing the Sludge Bomb, so I could, in theory, Terra Steel Calm Mind on it. Is what I probably would end up doing. But if a Draining Kiss just kills from half. Yeah, it looks like a Draining Kiss just kills from half. So I don't need to. Um, but yeah, we're Earth Power. Hey, Dark Pulse. Perfectly fine. Our Comfey should be able to knock it out. So that's what I'm just going to go do. And it's... Oh, yeah. And they're Life Orb. Perfect. So that put them in range. So that's great. Uh, so yeah, we just go Comfey. Don't even got to get fancy with it. Um, just thinking about other options in the future. Nah, I think it's just a Comfey game. The King Gambit comes in. I don't really have any counterplay to that, uh, so to speak. Like, I really don't. Like, King Gambit kind of fucks this team. I didn't really think about that in the scouting report. Uh, we Draining Kiss. Get that priority going. I think in front of... Okay, so if they go Gliscor now, I Terra Steel Calm Mind. Because that's my only way of winning is... Uh, Against the King Gambit. I have to I have to try I have to get some I have to get some some raises. You know what I mean? I need like I need like three in order to two a KO guaranteed. 
Ren Goku. This guy. Okay, wait a minute. I think in, against Heatran, we just set up. Actually. Against Heatran. Uh, let's see. Let's give it Flash Cannon. Yeah. Uh, it is lefties, though. I think... Oh, uh, no, no. I think we already decided, right? We were just going to go hard Lottie and get a kill. Yeah. Let's just do that. I did have a Terra Ground... A Terra Blast, Terra Ground Comfey as well. But I think the Sword Power set is just better uh, overall. Like, granted, we ran into Heatran, of course, where Terra Ground would have been amazing. But, you know, it is what it is, right? Of course, they get to land all their moves. Oh, so jealous. So jealous. I'm just going to click Aura Sphere. Best case scenario, they, like, switch into King Gambit, which would be huge. But I, I think they just click Protect here. They've already shown they have Protect on the Glide score. I assume they got Protect on this guy, too. And if they do, the Lottie probably dies. Very unfortunate, but it probably is what happens. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to... We're just going to click Aura Sphere, hoping they don't have the Protect. But let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. I assume they got it. But I guess they would have clicked it a lot faster now if they had it. Uh, but yeah, I'm just clicking Aura Sphere. Huge brain play for them would be to just go hard Dragapult, which would be crazy. But I'd, I'd respect it for sure. But yeah, I'm just clicking Aura Sphere. I don't know what they're thinking. Like, it, they clearly don't have Protect because they would have clicked it by now. But also, like, come on, bro. Just pivot. Pivot in a Gliscor or some stupid shit, you know? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. They do just stay in and give me the Heat Train, which is huge. So that's good. That's good for potentially Comfey. I can set up in front of Dragapult for Shurzies if it's special. <gasps> And see where the day takes us, you know? Oh, and we live a hit. Which is nice. So whatever comes in, we're about to see what it does. They can go anything. Iron Valiant. They can go this, I guess. And protect like a little fucking silly billy. But this just gives me superior. I just get superior in and kill, click Leaf Storm now. So this is great. Uh, I'll just lost the Purge in the off chance they try to like do something stupid. Glide score is a piece of shit. Alright, and we're going to get our Leaf Stormer in. And we're going to click Leaf Storm, guys. We're going to click Leaf Storm. Yo, wait a minute. I literally sub in front of this. Yeah, I literally sub in front. Don't I sub in front of this? Like, you guys should subscribe to Q the Coast 3. Don't I just sub in front of this with Superior? Like, am I missing something? Yeah, Earthquake. Yeah, what? Earthquake doesn't break sub. We sub. Wait, we just win the game. Unless the... I mean, Drag Pulse probably in, may, might be Infiltrator. But, I mean, we just sub up. And Prosper. Yeah, we just sub up and prosper, bro. It's actually great, because, yeah, we it's shown it's, it's Earthquake, Protect, Toxic, maybe U-Turn. I'd assume Spikes, but I guess it could be U-Turn, which would suck. If it's U-Turn, then it kind of sucks, but it is what it is, right? Let's find out. Let's find out. I guess we didn't... Oh, they're hard out. Perfect. Show me something crazy. Hiroshima. Is that King Gambit? That's Dragipult. Oh, no. They're Infiltrator. <sighs> they're in fucking... They're Infiltrator. This is fine. Like I said, we still fucking call mine... Like, we just call mine a comfy at some point in this game and win. So, let's see if they're special or physical. I'm gonna Glare. As they drop a Draco. Infiltrator. This is fine. We just go Comfe and I think call mine and try to win the game now. That's so annoying. I should just click Leaf Storm. Man, that's annoying. Fucking Infiltrator, Dragapult. Oh, wait, I could wait, I could win with this, too. No, I can't. King Gambit walls. Uh, I think I ha I got I to gotta win with Comfey or nothing. Damn, that sucks. Superior did it in the first battle, but didn't really get to do anything in the second battle, which is a little unfortunate, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Uh, we're just going to call mine. And go from there. Best case scenario, they just stay in. That'd be huge. They're not even specs. Wow, okay. So, yeah, if they go Gliscor, I'm just going to... Terra and then Calm Mind again. And then if they go King Gambit, I'm also just going to Terra and just start Draining Kissing. No, they go into this. Perfect. This gave me an out. This gave me an out. Let's do it. This is my out. Let's do it. That's fine. I Terra Steel Calm Mind for sure. Because they should, they, their play should be to click Toxic. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Come on, Comfey. You can do it to him. You can do it, put your back into it, Comfey. Plus five. They're Terra Water. I'm Terra Steel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. 
Yeah, get shit on. Let's go. So I'm only going to be at plus two, unfortunately, which is not going to be enough for King Gambit. But it could weaken it down for potentially um, something in the back. I don't know. But yeah, we just get a kill here. Um, wait, what if I... Hold on, I'm at 123. That's a roll for them to kill with Uninvested EQ. It's very unfortunate. We gotta just go for Giga Drain. Yum, yum, yum. Let's go. Glass score is so good. Alright. So now we're full health. I assume King Gambit just comes in and fucks me up. Like, that's just what I'm assuming. But if it's just offensive... Like, my Draining Kiss after Rocks does have a chance to 2 KO. But they have, what, four allies fainted? Kotal doesn't kill us. And they can't sucker because Draining Kiss has higher priority. So, yeah, let's uh, see what happens, man. I think it's four allies fainted, right? Because they still have Val. They still have... Dragon Pole. They're going to this. Hello? Are you okay? Hold on. If we see, like, boosters per attack, that'd be great. I would love to Calm Mind again and solidify it. We see speed. I would love to Calm Mind again and solidify the damage. Or, like, solidify the 2 KO on King Gambit. But they're also sacking this off. Wait, but that's fine. Unless they sack off Pole 2, we actually guarantee live a Kotal Cleave. So, yeah, I just kissed them. Yeah, hello? Okay. Comfey did it. Who would have thought? Damn, I wish, uh, I don't know what the title of this video. It's got to be the Terra Stellar Superior, right? Like, Comfey obviously is, like, really good too, but I don't know. It's got to be the Terra Stellar Superior, I feel like. But let's see. It, hopefully, they, if they go into King Gambit now, I have a chance. But I think if they go into Dragapult first, sack it off, and then, yeah, it looks like they are going to do that. Now it just becomes a roll of whether or not Kotal knocks me out. Um, I think I just call mine, though, in front of this. Will-O-Wisp? Wait, we're actually so good. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Because if I get the plus six, I can potentially Oko the King Gambit. So that's, what, that's our goal now. We're getting the plus six. Because they're allowing us to do it. Hex ain't going to do shit right now. If they U-turn, then we already decided we don't get, we don't get Oko'd by King Gambit because they only have four dead. So yeah, we literally just get the plus six. And then hope that uh hope that they don't crit us with Kotal. Or hope that they're not black glasses. Those are the those are the two sets. Yep, hacks, that ain't gonna do shit. Did a lot more than I thought. So yeah, we just gotta keep doing this. I think we can outlast. It depends on how much this next hex does. And then of course if you know they they crit us, which would be very unfortunate. I think I might only get the plus five. Hmm. Let's see. 101 to 67. Okay. Hold on, guys. Wow, Comfey's only got base 51 HP, which is kind of crazy, all things considered. Which does mean we'll get back to full, potentially. Um, we're at plus five right now. Yep, we need plus six. So let's do it. They U-turn. Perfect. Wait a minute. This is perfect. Wait, we literally draining kiss. They can't sucker punch us. This is fine. This is so fine. Hello? Yeah. They might not know that they can't sucker punch us, but we're going to click it. I go first, boy. Brother. Plus six. This can Oko King Gambit at 90%. And that's what they're at right now after the rocks chip. Let's see, are they lefties? Ooh, they are. It's a bit of a roll. Let's go for it, man. We just gotta go for it. Regardless, we should guarantee not get knocked out by... Um... By four dead uh, Kotal. So, I just drain a kiss here. And if they sucker punch, then we just Omega win. Oh my god, they live on like one. That lefties is gonna save them potentially. But we get back to full HP... Let's see what happens here, folks. They do click Sucker Punch because they don't know about the priority brackets, baby. Okay, this might be a Comfey video instead, guys. This might be a Comfey. I, I might have, somehow I gotta fit both of them on the thumbnail or something. I don't know. This superior slash Comfey team is broken. I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna be. But holy shit, I love Comfey so much. We just kiss him again, and it's all she wrote, baby. That's all she wrote, baby. 
This actually might just be its own video. Yeah, maybe this is the first. This yeah, the first superior battle is never gonna make it to the light of day. That's fine. Honestly, the team that we faced off against didn't really feel like it was real. I'll throw it up on C right now. This was the team we faced off against in the first battle. Didn't really, you know, it's, it looks a little silly. <laughs> and and yeah, so yeah, well, this is just gonna be its own thing, which was a really good battle against like a really strong OU team as well, which is like really cool. The only new mom they had was Dark Rye, but like still. Anyways, we get to kiss them. And that's all she wrote, baby. Let's fucking go. The battle was canceled. Young Comfey, the fucking 6-0 god. Love Comfey so much, man. I used Comfey in Generation 8 so much. And now with terrestrialization, it just became so much better. But yeah, man, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Use Comfey at your own discretion. The I think the Terra Stellar Superior is also just like really, really good. I kind of wanted that to be the thing, but it is what it is, right? We can we can give it to Call Mine Comfey too. Um, with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. If you guys like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the team as well as any other new Pokemon you guys might want to see me use in the future. We are also fast approaching 4,000 subscribers, guys. If we can reach that before the New Year's, I would be very, very grateful. It's already been such a great year as far as growth goes for the channel. Um, and if we can just get even more, that'd be that'd just be great. You know what I mean? So, uh, shout out to all you guys. Appreciate every one of you. And with that being said, I'm going to get about here. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace.